Hey Alan, it's Clint Lalonde, manager of Open Education at BC Campus, and uh, I saw your call looking for the mythical OER beast. Uh, and uh, I know you're on the hunt, and uh, well, I thought you'd really be interested in seeing what I found in our backyard. I just happened to find it this morning. Totally a coincidence, totally serendipitous. Uh, over here, we've been doing some renovating in our backyard, so uh, we've got some new sod here. And I'm not sure if, if this is what disturbed what I'm about to show you. Maybe digging up, and we got rid of a, an old playhouse back here, but, but that may explain why this is just suddenly showing up uh, way over there in the back corner. So uh, come with me, and I'll show you. I was hanging out in the hammock here because you know it's a nice uh, summer day and uh, back here just kind of nestled in look at you see that shh be very quiet sneak right up on it oh there you go nestled right here under this tree I found this open educational resource this is an open textbook uh, this open textbook, I happen to actually know a little bit about this open textbook because I helped create it. Uh, it was created in four days by five faculty here in British Columbia from Simon Fraser University, the University of British Columbia, uh, University of the Fraser Valley at Okanagan College. And this is an open educational resource. It's a textbook that's available for faculty to use and to give to their students for free. So rather than a student in a first year geography course having to pay, you know, $100, $150 for a textbook, we have a textbook here that is completely free and licensed with a Creative Commons license. Uh, but not only is this free, actually what is really interesting about this too is that it was created with other open educational objects. So it is an example of reuse. So for example, this cover that we have here there's four images on it. These are all Creative Commons licensed images for the cover uh, for the book. Uh, and once you get into the actual textbook, you'll see that we have uh, other resources. So here's a, a chapter on the mountain pine beetle, which was uh, quite a major environmental event here in British Columbia. So we did a case study on this and we needed to find an image of a pine beetle. Uh, we wanted to show it in scale, uh, so we actually found this image on Wikipedia that worked out really well. So we've embedded that into the textbook. So we're reusing that image from Wikipedia within this textbook. And then we were able to use this resource as well, which is an animated GIF that was created as an open resource, openly licensed by the province of British Columbia, and we were uh, able to embed that uh, within this textbook as well. So we have a whole lack of open educational resources that have gone into creating this free textbook for first year geography students here in British Columbia. That lives in a repository of actually a collection of 57 free and openly licensed textbooks for faculty to use and the majority of these textbooks actually come from other projects so we are reusing the open textbooks from other projects uh, and uh, that's benefiting students here in British Columbia. 28 courses so far have adopted an open textbook uh, here in BC, meaning that students in 28 courses do not have to pay for their textbook, and we have saved students of British Columbia over $150,000 so far uh, with the open textbook project uh, by making free and open learning resources available to them. So there you go. That's what I found here this morning, uh, nestled under the tree here in the backyard.